And real estate's like one of the oldest industries that hardly has any changes and moves so slow. And the contrast of the two is has been something that fascinates me because there's a need for housing all the time. And yeah. but technology is this massive disruptor that that changes everything. And I think where these two collide is something that's been really fascinating to me as, as far as what that looks like for for us in the future. Because we, we always think about technology and the digital world, but it's like, where are we physically still going to be in the future? I mean, we're, are, we, are our bodies still going to need to exist? We still need places to live. And, you know, regardless of what happens with, with the technology and robots and all the things, I think there's always going to be that need. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we need some form of a shelter, food, clothing, shelter, right? They say those are the three essentials before anything else. Tony, then what, I mean, we you talked about technology being a disruptor, and we saw that in the music industry. We saw it in the taxi industry. We see it in kind of the food industry, just about the idea that you can get delivery of anything, anything in the neighborhood pretty much to your door. Um, what do you think, or what are some of the things that you're thinking might happen with technology and real estate or you know living spaces i guess so one thing that i that i really been looking at recently is you know in la because I'm, I'm i'm here in southern california right and la is one of these massive markets where a lot of a lot of new technology gets adopted early because it because of the nature of where we're at and there's these in in la and it's, i think it's santa monica Culver City area, you know, Waymo had these first self-driving cars piloted. There, this is one of the few cities they they have it in, right? And so, so you start to drive around, and you just see them everywhere now, and it's become normalized. And I look at that, and I'm like, oh, okay. So now I'm seeing where AI and technology is really starting to interact with our physical world, and how it's starting to change things in the physical environment. And I think it's gotten to a point now where it is kind of normal. Like, I mean, if you're listening to this from some other part of the country, you might, you might be like, Whoa, that's that car's driving itself. But here it's like, okay, you see it, you see it one time, you're like, wow. And then you see it again. You're like, okay, it's just a normal thing. And now it's just like bl blowing your horn at a self-driving car. It doesn't mean anything because it's like the car doesn't care. <laughs> it doesn't care at all. And so, so what does that, what does that mean for our physical space? And what is that creating? Because real estate is massively impacted by our housing and, and everything. That